Welcome to GSP Style and Performance. I'm your host, Joshua. And today, here with another vehicle, I'm helping market for French online. This is Wes's 1974 F100 Ranger XLT. A long bed pickup with a whole lot of style, and of course, a little bit of performance under the hood. This is original patina, and there hasn't been a single bit of paint work done to it since 1970. So, if you want all this patina to stop forming and creating, all you gotta do is throw some clear on it. It's gonna be this nice, beautiful patina. Now it's got a little bit of chrome on the front bumper and of course the trim from front to back. And it's got a toolbox set up in the back in case you want to take this thing up on the job site, pull all your tools in there, it's going to be nice and secure and of course protected from the Florida sun and weather. Now the one thing I like about our truck is of course the wheels. They've been updated to these 20 inch steel wheels wrapped in a Michelin brand new set of tires. These tires don't even have 10 miles on them. So they're pretty much ready to go. All right, so this is the engine for our Ford F100. It's a beautiful 500 302 that packs a little bit of a punch. And of course, it's a fresh build on it. It's got the Elder Brock Performer four barrel carburetor on top of the Performer intake manifold. Chrome set of Moroso valve covers. And my favorite part is, of course, the long two headers with the side exit exhaust, giving this engine a little bit more of that growl going down the, going down the road. It has C4 automatic and of course power assisted brakes front and back. Now the interior has been updated quite a bit since 1970. It's got a brand new set of door panels, a brand new bench seat, new carpeting, and of course there has been a little bit done to the dash and actually the driving function of the truck. When this truck came out in 1970, it was a three-speed manual on the column. Uh, and now it's been switched over to a C4 automatic and they put in a B&M ratchet shifter, put in a pretty cool hard cider shifter on here. Now, if you don't like this, well, luckily it can be removed and had a smaller one put onto it. Um, also, the pedals on the floor, you still have all the original pedals, including the clutch. Now, the clutch no longer works because the oil went from manual to an automatic. Also, the other thing about the truck is that this truck came as an AC car. Now, the AC is not currently hooked up. However, it's quite easy to hook it all back up together. All you're need, gonna need is a compressor under the hood and a condenser, and of course, a little bit of lines to run into the dash here, and of course, get it work, up and working. But it's got your controller here and all that ready to go. And this is a pretty cool truck and definitely one you're not gonna see like it. All right, at the start of the truck, there is a bit of a uh, instructions to do so, and it's only just two instructions, quite simple. All you're gonna do is put your key into the ignition right over here to the left of the steering column, and then you're gonna wanna turn on the fuel pump. All you're going to want to do is pull that out and you're going to hear a humming sound coming from the back of the truck and that's going to be your fuel pump. Whenever you turn the truck off, make sure you push that back in to turn off all that fuel. 